All right, what's up, community? Uh, it's your boy Cam coming back to you again with another one. Uh, first of all, saying thank you for tuning in and uh, listening in and coming to hear uh, what God has for you. Um, just want to start out with a prayer real quick, and then we can jump right into it. So, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. Just saying thank you, Lord, for you being in. Thank you, Lord, for sacrificing your son. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. I just thank you for another day, another, another opportunity to fellowship, another opportunity to give you glory, give you praise, and just grow in you and know you more. So have your way with this message. Have your way with the hearts and the minds that are here. Uh, open them up and remove all distractions right now. And bless everyone to get the miracle that you have for them. Now this word in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. So today I'll be coming from... Uh, coming again from Psalm 91, going back over there, but also going into uh, Matthew chapter 27, verses 15 through 20, uh, which speaks on uh, the execution, pretty much trial process that Jesus went through, that Pilate was over. Um, and the reason why I'm going into that is because today I'm going to talk about distractions. Um, this came to me on my heart uh, a little while. I've been asking God to do what he do, what he do, do what he does, do what he do. Uh, what he always does for me and just uh, have his way with that uh, that he put on that he put on my heart for the missions for that so um <clears throat> pastor came came from here this past week by the way um he did an awesome job with his sermon um about crowds and watching crowds so i'm gonna come from you first with what i had last week songs i'm writing one and then lead into uh the the, the trial between uh pilot in Jesus. So, uh, Psalms number 91 speaks on God being our refuge. Um, and God also knowing at this time of the pestilence that's in the land right now, or at the land at that time, is being a refuge of it. And at the same time, same situation. Um, now, we are dealing with COVID-19, aka coronavirus, aka a pestilence that's not in our land right now. And just like how it was then, God is to be our refuge. Then and now and will always be. And through all the other pandemics and illnesses and, and situations in life that have been so big, that have been so life threatening, God has already brought us through those. And so I believe wholeheartedly that He's gonna do it right now as well, like He's already doing and will continue to do. So of course, Psalm number ninety one real quick on my first first three verses. Uh whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. COVID-19. Uh, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge, rescue. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence, COVID-19, that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague, COVID-19, that destroys at midday. He's our refuge, our rescue. Uh, going into um, Matthew, just to go ahead and go in there as well, uh, just to sum up what's going on. There. Um, Jesus is on trial with Barabbas as well to find out who's going to be executed. Uh, the crowd who knows who Barabbas is, knows what he's done, and know the con and he also who knows the consequences of his actions, his execution, is right next to Jesus, who is only up for execution because of just people didn't like what he was saying. Not that it was right or wrong. They just didn't like what he was saying. Pilate, who had the opportunity to do right um, and knew what was right, chose the opposite. Um, and there was consequences later on that was spoken of for that. Um, key thing is that he knew what was right. He knew in his heart what the right thing was to do. But because of the distractions, now this is a position he's in. He's been he's been in. He knows right from wrong. He knows why people are there. All of that. So what is nothing new? And in his heart, he knew that he shouldn't do. He shouldn't be doing what he was about to do. And he was advised not to. But because of the crowd, aka the world right now, saying something other than that and wanting something other than that, he chose to go with the crowd. Now at this time, and even before this time of COVID nineteen, the coronavirus. You knew God had a purpose for you. If you didn't know, now you know. He has a purpose for you. 
He created you. He has a purpose for every every single creation he's created. So the thing is, just because Corona has happened, aka a distraction, doesn't mean you should get off of the purpose that God has had for you. That he has already had for you. If you didn't know what that purpose was, it's a time to ask and ask God to reveal that at a time of silence and being still, <laughs> being shut in the house. It's a time to get that. If you already know, it's a time to make sure you tone it up and let God continue to use you. This is not a time to be distracted by this virus and not continue to seek God and his will and his word daily. So the message is today, one, check your crowds. Who are you listen to? You already know what God has told you. And if you didn't know, it's easy. That's how you can find that out. So, word of encouragement. Watch distractions. Watch your crowd. Stay in your word. Here's your answer. Here's where you'll find your purpose. If you don't know, and this is how you will tune up that purpose. If you do know. Love y'all. Stay tuned. Stay connected. Talk to me.